What's going on, everyone? So, the Boston Celtics and the New York Knicks started off the NBA season, and it was a total rout. Um, I mean, the Boston Celtics shot the lights out, shot over 50% from three-point range, um, set NBA records, all of that. Uh, the New York Knicks uh, really just, they weren't bad. I mean, you know, they, they shot well. Um, they were getting good quality looks. Uh, 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 Mikel Bridges really started to come into his own. He started off just terrible, really started hitting some shots. Um, you know, Jalen Brunson, Carl Anthony Towns, they were kind of doing their thing. Uh, and then McBride off the bench was spectacular in this game. But it's just, it's one of those games where, you know, Boston Celtics kind of just picked up where they left off. Uh, now, a lot of people are going to look at this and go, well, you know, hey, Boston just shot the lights out, right? Nothing you can do about it. You kind of wash your hands. And yes, to an extent, that is true. To an extent, that is very accurate, right? When, when a team's making 30 threes, 30 plus threes, like, th there's nothing you can do about that, right? You just kind of take it on the chin and you yeah, hope that that doesn't replicate again. But that's kind of Boston's regime, right? Like, that's what Boston does. Um, you know, they set an NBA record last season for most threes. They're, they basically are the epitome of live and die by the three. I mean, out of their shot attempts, they want like half of them to be threes. Their whole identity is just at this point, essentially, I mean, there's more to it than that, but you no, know, Boston, that's how they won a championship, right? You have to be able to defend the perimeter. You have to be able to, to give them contested threes. Boston's constantly moving and sharing the basketball, uh, which you saw even in this game, you know, having over 30 assists. That's what you want to see on any given night. Uh, also, they're just the, the hustle, the grind. You know, to, to basically almost triple you in offensive rebounds, uh, that's not a good look. You know, a team you know, it basically is getting double the assists, double the rebounds, uh, and then hitting double the threes, you're, you're losing those games, right? You're not winning those games, but that's what Boston does. It's not just so much shooting the lights out. Because, again, that's their game plan. They want to get 50 threes up a game. That's their mission. That's their goal. But... As a team that you know that, you can't give them second, third, fourth, fifth opportunities because they're going to beat you. They have too many guys that are very skilled at shooting the three ball. They have too many guys, and their offense, in a team that is so cohesive at this point, coming off a win in a championship, that you have to be able and willing to do the little things. You have to outwork them. You have to out-hustle them, right? You know, to, to give up an occasional offensive rebound is one thing but there were sequences in this game where Boston would literally get two three four in, in an entire seat and it's just like you're never beating a team that way you're not beating the Boston Celtics if they're getting multiple offensive possessions uh and and, and a one go around also gotta gotta create turnovers to take care of the basketball you no, know, when you have triple the turnovers that they do, it's just, it's a formula for failure against a team like Boston that they can put up points in a hurry. You know, you look up and all of a sudden they've knocked down two, three, four threes in a row. You know, the game's close. All of a sudden you look up and now, now you're down 15. You know, and it's just like you're, you're, you need to do the dirty work. You need to do the hustle plays. You need to make sure that you are playing good enough basketball in order to be Boston. Now, I'm not worried about the Knicks yet. This is the first game. They, they are, Mikel Bridges got to kind of come into the, the, the thick of it. I do think once they get Mitchell Robinson back, I think that'll help with the rebounding and stuff. Um, no, they're, they're, even guys like, you know, Cat integrating this, this starting five, integrating this team into the lineup, right? They had, again, they didn't play bad. You know, if you look at them against, you know, a team that, if, if Boston, shoots a normal percent, right? They were, what, second in the league in three-point percentage at, at, like, 39%. So if they shot 39% from three-point range or, say, 40% from three-point range, this is a very winnable game for the Knicks, right? Like, but, you know, that's where, to me, Boston comes in in shooting the lights. That's where I think you can, to an extent, kind of just, just wash your hands of this game. But also, if you're the Knicks, you got to be disappointed in just the lack of hustle, because it, that's not the sole reason, right? If it was something like, if you looked at it and it's like, 
oh, you know, hey, the Knicks out-rebounded them, the Celtics had, you know, more turnovers, right? and you just kind of go down the list, and it's like, well, the, the Celtics just shot the lights out, then yes, I, I, I could understand that. But no, the Boston Celtics dominated this game on multiple fronts. Again, assists, turnovers, rebound. It wasn't just three-point shooting. You're talking about three of the biggest factors in the game of basketball. Turnovers, assists, and rebounding, in which the Boston Celtics dominated all three matchups. So it's not as simple as like, oh, you can uh, wash your hands and just be done with it. But I do think that there is a level of that. And I do think that this was a good experience and a good opportunity for the Knicks to see, okay, we got we got to make sure we're, we're doing the little things. We got to make sure we're doing the dirty work. We got to make sure we are putting ourselves in positions to not give up you know, 10 plus offensive rebounds. We got to make sure we're not turning the ball over against the Boston Celtics. No, it's not like the Knicks had 30 turnovers, something crazy, you know, 20 turnovers, right? They were within reason, but still, you, you getting it's those are the differences between you losing by 30, you know, or, or being in a tight game that you could potentially win or even win that game. And the Knicks just showed right now, again, it's the first game of the season. I don't want this to come across as, a, you know, an overreaction. I don't think that this is some crazy thing. You know, Jason Tatum uh, definitely came in to, to you know, set set an example and, and make a statement. This really felt like a statement game from Tatum. Um, but in general, right, like, this is, this is a good learning experience for the Knicks, that the Knicks aren't there yet. I do believe that the Knicks are the second-best team in the Eastern Conference. I do believe that in the Eastern Conference Finals, we're going to see the Knicks and the Boston Celtics. I think this is one of many games you're going to see between Boston and the Knicks this season. And it's better to get this, you know, good old-fashioned behind-the-barn whooping. Best to get that out of the way now. So, again, you can kind of wash your hands clean of it and then jump into, uh, you know, the the future, future games and just be better. Right, because this is this is only one of many. You know, Jason Tatum, the statement game, the Boston Celtics statement game. I mean, even Jalen Brown was spectacular. All five starters in double figures. All five starters got to you know not have to play forty minutes. Like right? like Boston showed them what a championship team looks like. You want to be, you want you want to overtake us you want to be the one hoisting the larry o'brien trophy at the end of the year like we did last year well you're gonna have to be better you're gonna have to play better defense you're gonna have to do the dirty work you're not gonna have to you're gonna have to not turn the ball over you're gonna have to rebound better you're gonna have to uh share the ball more right like because again that's that's what this game boiled down to it wasn't just solely boston shooting the lights out I know people are going to look and all the headlines and stuff are going to be, you know, Boston sets three-point records and blah, blah, blah. And a lot of fans are going to look at this game and go, oh, hey, you know, Boston just Boston just shot the lights out. And yes, again, to an extent, I do believe that you can kind of write some of that off. But it wasn't just, it wasn't the Knicks dominated the Celtics in every category except for Boston hit 43s and that's why they won the game. No, Boston hit... 30 plus threes, but also one in all the major categories. This was a a beatdown. This wasn't just a oh hey we're 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 just shooting and red hot, right? Like this was a hey we are one. This is what they do, right? This is what Boston does. It's what they did all year last year. They were setting these kind of records regularly last year. This is a team that this is what they do. This is how they play. This is how they work. They share the basketball. They shoot a bunch of threes. They hustle. They got guys in Derek White, Drew Holiday, Al Horford. Like they got these guys that they do the dirty work and they play their role and they know what their role is. And if you don't, if you're not making sure that you're playing your brand of basketball and you start playing into Boston's brand of basketball, all of a sudden you look up and you gave 140 points. All right, like that's that's not good. no, but you're not winning any games giving up, you know, 130, 140, 150 points. Like you're just you're not you're getting smacked, time and time and time and time again. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, and I pass the question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? 
how do you feel? What are your thoughts? Um, what did you make of this game? Did you do you just look at it as like, hey, you know, wash your hands with it, be done? They just shot the lights out. What are you gonna do about it? Do you look at this as like, no, like, no, this is a team that, you know, this is what Boston does, and they outwork the Knicks. My thing is again, if it was just a straightforward, you know, hey, Boston shut the lights out. What are you gonna do? I, I would easily make this video and talk about that, but that's not what happened here, right? Boston dominated this game in every category, literally every faucet of the game. I mean, you can extend it to field goal attempts, uh, three-point attempts, right? Free throw attempts, right? or not attempts, but uh, percentage. Uh, you know, again, turnovers, assists, rebounds, right? Go down the list. That's the difference. But anyway, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. So we enjoy these types of videos and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.